tonight on BCN Weekly News. In this week's special report, the Mountaineer Dining Hall at the center of unsafe workplace critiques. Our reporter Esteban Reyna has more on this. Coming next. Also, Bira College celebrates Women's History Month. Reporter Mark Karma covers the events. And Women's Basketball Competition leaves the Mountaineers number one in the West Division. We've got the details coming up. All of this and more coming up soon, tonight on BCN Weekly News. Live from BCN Arts Studio in Berea, Kentucky, this is BCN Weekly News. Good evening and welcome back to another newscast of BCN Weekly News. My name is Anupriya Dixit. For this week's special report, the Mountaineer Dining Hall is at the center of critiques concerning unsafe workplace practices. Our reporter Esteban Reyna reached out to Dining's management and got their reactions to the allegations in this week's special report. Esteban? A recent report voiced the concerns from a dining hall student worker. The report alleged there were unsafe work conditions in the dishwasher room, ranging from slippery floors to handling hot objects and getting blisters on their hands. On February 17th, the Berea Torch posted an interview with an anonymous student worker from Dining Services. In the report, the student expressed several safety complaints about the dining hall, including lack of access to racks to move recently cleaned hot dishes and pans, lack of correct size shoe slips to avoid accidents, overscheduling students to work over 20 hours a week, getting food thrown at their face, swearing at students during work, and other serious injuries that required visits to the emergency room. The report's comment section shows diverse opinions. Some disagree with the interviewee, claiming that towels are readily available to move hot dishes, and others calling the interviewee's allegations quote-unquote extremely dramatized. In response to these comments, the dining hall's general manager, Charlie Brubeck, claimed that students have access to hot gloves and towels, and that no student has gotten blisters or burns when working in the dishwasher. He added that no student has been overscheduled to work over the allowed 10 to 15 hour limit per week, and that no student has gotten food thrown at their face nor swore at them. We reached out to the Labor Programs Office to check if there have been any complaints filed against dining services, but we are told the Labor Program Office cannot comment on specific complaints or concerns. We will update you with any developments on this story. Reporting from the Mountaineer Dining Hall, Esteban Reina, BCN Weekly News. Thank you, Esteban. In another news, International Women's Month begins as a way to celebrate women's achievements and contributions to the society. Reporter Mark, reporter Mac Karma covers the events Birria College is holding for the holiday and some ways to celebrate as a student on campus. Thank you, Ana Priya. International Women's Month has just begun and International Women's Day is right around the corner. The Bell Hooks Center is officially open on campus and is a great resource to learn about women's history and accomplishments. The Bell Hooks Center slash Women and Gender Studies area houses multiple professors passionate about the month and how to get students to participate. The month started out with a curriculum series featuring feminist entrepreneur Angela Anderson. If you missed the event, the WGS Center is going to be hosting many more events throughout the month of March. Women's History Month is about celebrating women and their work and everyday lives. For this week, I wanted to highlight women across campus who incorporate feminist ideologies into their everyday work lives. Just thinking through like in my life, like who were my influential women and through history, like all the women who despite just all the awful stuff, they went on to do things to help other people and make other people's lives better and contribute towards society. So I think um, like any time just that you can celebrate women in general. Some easy things you can do this month to celebrate Women's History Month is by simply just stopping into the Bell Hook Center. You could also tell women in your everyday life you appreciate their contributions and their ability to succeed. This is Matt Carmack reporting from the Quad. Back to you, Ana Priya. Thank you, Mac. 
In the USA South Conference Championship, the women's basketball team ranked number one in the West Division of South USA. On Saturday, the team competed in the final round against the South Virginia University where they lost the game at a score of 73-62. Alia Hampton, Destiny Combs and Bailey Vanover led the team scoring 21, 18 and 10 points respectively. In the President's report for March 2022, President Lyle Ruloff congratulated Alia Hampton for being selected for the USA South Women's First Team All-Conference and Destiny Combs for being selected for the USA South Women's First Team West Division. He also congratulated Bailey Vanover for being selected for the USA South Women's Second Team West Division and for the All-Sportsmanship Team. President Ruloffs also congratulated the coach, Trent Milby, and the whole women's basketball team for qualifying as number one seed in the West Division of USA South. Coming next on BCN Weekly News. The spring 2022 semester is halfway through. Students can either return home or stay on campus. We've got the details coming up right after this. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread and kissed them all soundly and put them to bed. Hunger is a story we can end. End it at feedingamerica.org. Thanks for staying with us. As midterms are coming to an end, students are looking forward to spring break to relax and do some fun activities. Spring break at Birria College will start from March 7th to March 13th. Students will get a break from busy college schedules to rest and get ready for the rest of the semester. Some students plan on going back home to their families, whereas others plan on working on campus. For spring break, I plan on going to Marco Island in Florida with my family. I'm just going to stay on campus and relax and try to, it's like a mental break. Hang out with friends and sleep in a lot. I'm just going to go home and spend some time with family and friends back home. Labor is usually suspended during spring unless it is essential or a special contract is signed. Students planning on working during the spring break should contact their supervisors and submit a spring break labor contract by Friday, March 4th. We hope all students enjoy their spring break relaxing and spending quality time with their friends and family. On behalf of our news team, thank you for watching BCN Weekly News. I am Anupriya Dixit. For more coverage, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Birria College News Trend Radio. And watch our show online at www.bcnewsradio.com. Good night. Thank you.